So the different consequences of emerging graphic design technologies is everything you can do these days on a computer. We are very touch based, we are very app based, everyone has a smartphone nearly. You know, going towards the future, five or ten years for sure, it, we can't even imagine what's possible. So it's so good to harness these technologies and learn to create websites and apps. If you're very more technically minded, then that's great for you. If you like balance of traditional design and all these other things, don't forget your analog skills and your drawing. This also applies to people who like tech things. So, you know, keep brainstorming on paper, write down your ideas on paper. I write ideas on my phone and paper and sometimes they cross over and you know things don't usually get misconstrued because you've got balance between both so it's very very important I think to keep a balance between your traditional skills your hand done work as well as take it forward to uh, the web uh, digital art apps layouts all those sorts of things so the increasing convergence between graphic design and other disciplines is that these days you have to be multifaceted I believe you find a job in the paper say or online and it says you know graphic designer minimum experience you don't always have to be but that job they might want you to create a Facebook page or do social media or do a WordPress or their web so depending you need to take a whole box of skills with you you know you could pretty much I used to say if you can fit your computer into your um, into your paint box that's what would happen and these days it's never been more evident so I believe that you know, push yourself as a designer, uh, get your specialist skills that you like as well, like illustration, design, painting, photography, whatever it is, but you will be asked to do web, you will be asked to make apps maybe. Social media these days is so important to yourself and to companies for promoting themselves, so your presence online is very, very important. Uh, don't let it consume you, use it to your advantage. Uh, and that way you can make contacts, you can gain work, you can uh, look into appointments or the company before you even approach the company so you know a bit of background about them. So using those elements of social media is very, very important moving forward. So I find myself in uh, mentoring a lot of younger people through design and different aspects that um, you have to have that human and social interaction. We have social interaction, what they call social media now, where you're on Facebook, say, or on Instagram and all these different things, which is wonderful. I'm definitely no stranger to it and I am guilty, but it's all good. Uh, there is a certain time and a place though, so you use it to your advantage. Um, if you're at dinner, put your phone away. We want to have a real conversation. You know, you will design your presentation uh, on the computer, but when you go to present it to a client, you can't just say, oh, here's my presentation, I'll just text it to you and uh, let me know what you think. You know, you have to dress the part, you have to be the part, you have to talk it, you have to actually live and believe in what you're saying. So it's all in your deliverance. Use social media to your advantage, but don't let it totally rule who you are as a designer and your whole existence.